a lot of people are asking me, why is housing supply still so low? One key question that's at the top of homebuyers' mind this year is, why is it so hard to find a house? Hi there, this is Michelle Scheinling from Heritage Real Estate, located in Lake Orion, Michigan. The truth is, we're in the ultimate seller's market, so real estate is ultra competitive for buyers right now. The number of buyers searching for a home greatly outweighs the number that are available for sale. While low inventory in the housing market isn't new, this is a challenge that continues to grow over time. Here's a look at two reasons why today's housing supply is low and what it means for you. Number one, new home construction fell behind for several years. This graph shows new home construction for single family homes over the past five decades, including the long-term average for houses uncompleted. Builders exceeded that average during the housing bubble, shown in red on the graph. The result was an oversupply of homes on the market, so home values declined, and that was one of the many factors that led to the housing crash back in 2008. Since then, the level of new home construction has fallen off. For the last 13 straight years, builders haven't been able to construct enough homes to meet the historical average. That's the green area on the graph. That underbuilding left us with a multi-year inventory deficit going into the pandemic. Which leads us to reason number two, that the housing supply is still so low. Number two, the pandemic's impact on the housing market. When the pandemic hit, it fueled a renewed appreciation and focus on the meaning of home. Having a safe place to work, live, hold school, entertain, and exercise became even more important for Americans throughout the country. So as mortgage rates dropped to at or below 3%, Buyers eagerly entered the market looking to capitalize on those low rates to secure a home that would fulfill their changing needs. At the same time, sellers hesitated to put their houses on the market as market concerns about the pandemic mounted. The result? The number of homes available for sale dropped even further. A recent article from Realtor.com explains, quote, last month the number of home listings dropped 26.8% compared with the same time a year earlier. This meant there were about 177,000 fewer homes listed in what's already a typically slower month due to the holidays and colder weather. So what does this all mean for you? For a buyer, low inventory can be a challenge. You want to find the home of your dreams and you don't want to settle. But what if there just aren't any homes to choose from? There is some good news. Experts are projecting that more homes will soon become available thanks to sellers re-entering the market. Danielle Hale, chief economist at Realtor.com, shares this hope, but offers perspective. We expect that we'll start to see a turnaround and inventory will stabilize and start to go up a little bit in 2022. But that means looking at inventory levels of roughly half of what we saw before the pandemic. For buyers, the market is likely to continue to move fast. If you see a home you like, you might want to jump on it right away, end quote. So basically, inventory is still low even though there are more homes coming. But you shouldn't put your plans on hold because you're waiting for those additional houses to hit the market. Instead, stick with your search and persevere through today's low inventory. You can find your next home if you're patient and focused. Remember your goals and why finding a home is so important. Those things should be the driving force behind your search. Share those with me, your agent, and be clear about your priorities. A trusted realtor is your greatest support as you navigate today's low housing supply to find the home of your dreams. The bottom line, if you're planning to buy this year, the key to success will be patient giving today's low inventory. Let's connect to discuss what's happening in our area, what homes are still available, and why it's still worthwhile to prioritize your home search today. This is Michelle Scheinling with Heritage Real Estate. Reach out to me with any questions you have or if you'd like a list of homes for sale. I'm here to help. Make it a great home buying and selling day. And remember, if you need to buy or sell, call Michelle. <music>